Okay, so a special case of the remainder theorem n is the factor theorem. So this is where we did our long division and we found something was a factor. There was no remainder. So show that x minus 8 is a factor of this function x cubed minus 5x squared minus 18x minus 48. So we have to find f of 8. So it's 8 cubed minus 5 times 8 squared minus 18 times 8 minus 48. So that's 512, that's 320, that's 144, minus 48, and that is 0. So therefore, x minus 8 is a factor. So there's no remainder, so it is a factor. Okay, our second one, given that x minus 2 is a factor of this function, x cubed plus ax squared plus 9x minus 10, find a. So that means that we know that f of 2 has to be 0. So putting that in, we get 2 cubed plus a times 2 squared plus 9 times 2 minus 10 equals 0. So 8 plus 4a plus 18 minus 10 equals 0. Keep 4a where it is, bringing everything else over to the other side, we get that that is minus 16, and a turns out to be minus 4. Number 3, then, we'll do two parts for number 3. So factorise f of x equals x cubed minus 5x squared minus 4x plus 20. And sometimes it'll say factorize fully. Okay, so the first thing we'll have to do, it isn't telling us what the factor is. So we'll have to make some kind of sort of trial and improvement and guess what we think it's going to be. So put in f of 1. So we'll get 1 minus 5 minus 4 plus 20. That turns out to be 18, so we can say that x minus 1, it's not a factor. So go to f of 2. So that's 8 minus 5 times 4 minus 4 times 2 plus 20. It turns out to be... It turns out to be 0, so therefore x minus 2 is a factor. Okay, now we know that this is a factor, we'll use long division to find the quadratic. So x minus 2 into x cubed minus 5x squared minus 4x plus 20. So x times x squared would give us x cubed, take it away, this disappears, so minus 5 minus minus 2, so minus 5 plus 2, which gives you minus 3, and bring everything else down, <clears throat> multiply them by minus 3x, to get minus 3x squared, minus 3x times minus 2x gives you plus 6x and subtract so our x squareds disappear minus 4x minus 6x gives you minus 10x and then multiply by minus 10 so minus 10 by x gives you minus 10x plus 20 when you take that away you get zero if you don't get zero here you've made a mistake somewhere up here okay because we're saying that x minus 2 is a factor, so we shouldn't get any remainder. We can now write then our f of x is x minus 2 upon our x squared minus 3x minus 10. So now we've got our quadratic, so our product is minus 10, our sum is minus 3. So two numbers that multiply together to give you minus 10 and add to give you minus 3 or minus 5 and 2. So 
So I get x minus 5 upon x plus 2. So that's that expression factorised fully. And then quite often part 2 of the question is solve x cubed minus 5x squared minus 4x plus 20 equals 0. So this is the cubic that we've just factorised. So we can write it as our three brackets. So either x is 2, 5 or minus 2. Now just be very careful what a question actually asks you to do. If it asks you to factorise, you should be given your answer as your brackets. If it asks you to solve, you should be given your answer as your values for x.